In this video, I'll help you solve the black screen problem that you're having with your Oculus Quest 2. There are a few options out there and uh, sometimes it's better to try them before factory resetting everything, okay? So the first issue here is that some third-party accessories are blocking the proximity sensor, the one that is right here, okay? You may not see it, but when you have this on your face, there are creases and this part could go down and hide it, making the screen black and, you know, it confuses the Oculus. So make sure if you're using some third party accessories that nothing goes in the way of this sensor, okay? This is the first thing you need to make sure. Second of all, you need to make sure that the straps are tight. Okay, some people have noticed that they had this black screen problem when, you know, the headset wasn't really staying tightly on their face. So just be careful since, again, the proximity sensor, if it's not tight enough, may not notice that there is somebody there and it needs to turn the screens on. Then a simple trick is to reboot the device, okay? Rebooting it won't delete any apps, anything. It's just a soft reset. To do so, all you have to do is to press the plus button here for the volume at the same time as the power button during 15 seconds, okay? Keep them pressed at the same time and then you should see the Oculus uh, logo appearing signifying that the device is now rebooting. This can solve a problem quite easily. It only takes a minute to try out. And if nothing helped you and you want to factory reset your device and you think this is the only solution, well, this is how you do it. I have two tricks for you. One that can be done directly on the Oculus Quest and the other one, if you just want to use your smartphone that is connected to your Oculus. Okay, so let's start with the first method. All you have to do is keep the minus button here, the uh, volume down, at the same time as the power button pressed. Keep them pressed for two seconds, or I think five, and something should appear. Here we go. I know it's hard to see, let me bring it closer. All right, this menu will appear inside of your Oculus. Okay, and there'll be a few options, boot device, device info, factory reset, sideload update, and power off. We want to select, obviously, factory reset, and how we do this is by using the plus and minus button to navigate. Okay, so I have selected factory reset. Now to select this option, you have to click on the power button that is on this side, click once. And then it will ask you if you want yes, erase and factory reset or no, go back. Again, you have to select it by pressing the volume buttons. Select the first option and then confirm by pressing the power button. The Oculus Quest will now do its thing and erase everything that is inside. So you'll be able to sell it without having your personal data on it. And once you're done, you may have to keep pressed the power button during 30 seconds to boot it up after you've done this. Okay, the other one is involving your phone. As I said, power on the Oculus Quest. Let it boot up. Put this aside. Take your smartphone that is connected to your Oculus Quest. All right, once you took your phone out and opened the Oculus Quest app, all you have to do is navigate to the bottom here where you see menu, tap on it. Now, once you're here, what you have to do is select devices, this small icon here. Once you're here, you're gonna scroll down until you see advanced settings, tap on it. And from here, you're gonna tap factory reset. And here it will ask you to confirm if you really want to reset it or you can cancel, but I guess you want to reset it. So you're going to tap the first one and everything will be done. Again, 
When you wake up your Oculus Quest after factory resetting it, you may have to hold the power button 30 seconds or maybe a bit more to turn it on, okay? So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.